Hello YouTube, it's Matthew's Coin Card Collecting. Welcome to the channel. Today is Tops Tuesday. We're going to be opening up some Series 1 that I got from Target about a couple weeks ago. And it's going to be a nice, and it's going to be a nice video today, hoping to find some decent rookies and other good stuff. So let's get into it. So here's, so here's what I'm doing today. The, bo the bag is from Target. Still the same bag from a couple weeks ago. Got before the target limit was inst instituted, I was able to grab three hanger boxes of Top Series 1 at $9.99 a piece. And then a couple days earlier, I grabbed a Topps Fat Pack from Walmart because it's the Royal Blue, Royal Blue Parallel. So to get started, I'll put these aside and we'll start off with the uh, the Series 1 the Series One Fat Pack. So. Open that up. Let's get started. I see a decent rookie on top right there. Dylan Carlson and Joey Bart. I always separate my rookies because the rookie, just like uh, because uh, rookies are always better than regular. Evan White, Luis Garcia, Kyle Lewis Gold Cup. He's still on the injured list, unfortunately. He's been not been doing very well. Kershaw World Series. That's a nice insert. I like because Kershaw did good. James Caprillian rookie. And there's an Alec Baum rookie. That's my first Baum rookie of the year, actually, because um all the other stuff I have not been able to pull. I've not been able to pull any other Baum rookies. But unfortunately Baum has been off to a crappy start on the year, so it's not very so it wasn't very so it's not very good at all. And then we got a Bruce Dar Gratterall out of we got a red ice out of 199, 22 of 199. That's, de that's decent. In service, we got an in service of Ken Griffey Jr. Our Royal Blue is Kirby Yates. Shohei Otani and Miguel Cabrera. So that was a decent pack. I wonder what the odds are on those uh, red ice parallels are. Gold Rainbow Foil, Independence Day, Hother Bank. Camo, 70th anniversary, reading play, print, pet shop print. Eh, I don't really know, but, um, a decent first box, actually, so, a decent first pack, so, uh, we've got our three hanger boxes now. Let's start with box number one. Got my box cut, got my uh, Zacto knife right here. I really, I, I might have said this before already, but I really, really like how um, uh, Pops uh, added the plastic, plastic coating to the bag to make sure that no one pack searched and stuff. So it's better for us collectors now that we can, that we can open up the cards without having to deal with, um, uh, what's it called? Um, pack searchers and uh, their sneaky ways of um, of um, ripping us off. So let's get to it. From what I've heard, these hanger boxes are very good. Ian Anderson's a good rookie. Really, I only point out the rookies. Uh, Albert Pujols, new new Dodger. My dad's pretty happy about that one. Blake Taylor, rookie. I don't really know the rookie. I'm just going to put it aside, but don't really know much. There's Mike Trout. I'm a, was he card, he's card number 27? That's a nice, nice looking card for Trout. He was number one last year, and uh, 
This year it was Fernando Tatis. Andres Jimenez, who's been off to a slow start. Nick Madrigal, James Caprillion. Uh, Ryan Castellani, Nick Heath, Christian McKenzie, Shohei Otani. Again, off to a really slow start for some of these. A lot of players are still off to a really, really slow start on the year and um, just not doing very well. Clayton Kershaw again. And look at that. We got a relic of uh, Paul DeYoung, a, a game used. Actually, wait, this is player worn. A player worn jersey card out of 198, the black parallel. So that's decent. Not the greatest player, but uh, it's okay. Joey Votto, Topps Chrome, Redux, Kershaw, Vlad Jr. Fortunately, that's not real. That would be sick if it was real. Bryce Harper, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, Auto Relic. So, a jersey card's nice, but not the greatest player. Box number two. I'm really hoping for a big rookie. I'm really hoping of someone decent actually. Put this stuff down. I might be after opening up all this, I might be able to put together a complete set of Series 1, honestly. Because, uh, a lot of cards. Here's Joe Adele. Stevenson. Easy Mai, Sixto Sanchez. A lot of rookies right there. Unfortunately, Joe Adele has not been doing very well, actually, in the minors. Seeing like 190-something, I saw. So, not the greatest rookie out there. I mean, he's a good player, still, still very talented, but um, he's got he's just really gotta um, step up his game if he wants to um, come back to the majors and do stuff well. We've got a gold parallel of Jose Ucurdy out of 2021. Sonny Gray, Albert Pujols, Manny Machado, and Luis Robert. Clayton Kershaw, 1980, 1986, and Johnny Bench. So, nothing so crazy too far. And here's our last box. And please like and subscribe. Comment anything you want. Hit the bell, hit the bell notification if you want to see my future uploads because... I'm going to be uploading uh, every day this week, actually, because, uh, uh, every day for the rest of the week, because, um, I got a decent amount of stuff in from, uh, I got a decent amount of stuff I want to show you guys, and, uh, I think, uh, you guys will definitely greatly appreciate that. Still have yet to hit a Ryan Mountcastle, I've not seen him yet. Another player also not doing very well. Varsho, Espinosa, Paredes, Pache. A lot of rookies, but not a lot of rookies, definitely, I'd have to say. More rookies. Even if I don't get the, uh, what's it called, uh, Mine Mountcastle, I, I pre-ordered a complete set already, so, um, so I will, I will eventually get his rookie. It's just kind of frustrating that I didn't get anyone. Great, hold on, I missed a couple of rookies, actually. Alright, uh, Graciela Iglesias, Ringo Foil. 
Pujols, Machado, Robert, um, Lindor, DeGrom, and through the years, uh, Aaron Judge. So nothing too too crazy, but a couple. But look at this huge stack of rookie cards. I mean, look at this. That's got to be at least thirty to forty cards, and it's a uh, just so many so many rookies. It's not even funny. Uh, Kevin's budget card breaks would love this. He would. He'd definitely say that. Uh, I would definitely have said I did. I definitely did well in this break. All right, that's it for today. Tomorrow, uh, we'll be uploading again. Tomorrow, we'll be doing Wax Pack Wednesday, but also with the Pack of Heritage. Wax Pack Wednesday is is going to be tomorrow. Opening up some packs from 87, 88, and 89, and uh, hoping to get some old rookie cards. Then after that is um. After that, I got I got some boxes of a uh, opening day to open up to. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Just for the hell of it, I got this pack of a uh, uh, 2020 update from the hobby shop, hoping to hoping to cap, get a decent um uh, name because um I got a uh, I got really shafted from a uh, update last year. Didn't get a Randy Rosarina at all. Hoping to get at least one here. He's been off to a very good start this year. Doing very well. It's kind of hard to tell. I forget where in this collation you tell if you get Randy or Rosarina, but um, even if I don't. Jonathan Daza autograph. Nice. Rookie autograph. That's decent, actually. That's actually decent, actually. So, an autograph black for, out of um, one ninety nine. That's so I picked a decent pack, actually. So let me check the odds on that one—a black autograph because um, autograph nineteen eighty one in seventy packs. So a decent pull, actually. I'm gonna sort through these cards and. Give you a little bit more of a recap. And thanks for watching. Here's a preview of what's to come. On on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, we're doing Wax Pack Wednesday. Got 87, I mean 88, 87, and 88 dollars along with a Heritage Fat Pack. You know what, screw it. I'm just going to open that now, actually, to make it completely Wax Pack Wednesday. Joey Bart, rookie. Luis Garcia in action. Ooh, that's nice. A Carl Ronald Acuna Jr. That ought to fetch a couple bucks. Kyle Lewis uh, in white. Evan White. Maybe it was a good thing I opened that earlier. So it's completely... Okay, so back to going what I was saying. Uh, Wax Pack Wednesday. We got... Three packs of 88 Donruss, three packs of 87, do 87 Tops, and two packs of 80, 88 Tops. That'll be fun to open up, hoping to find a Barry Bonds rookie possibly. Then on Thursday, we've got a, we've got, we've got a blaster box of opening day. Then we've got a pack, I'm just going to open this one now because, uh, open this one now to make it easier because um I know I'm doing funny things doing funny things out of order Jesus Sanchez rookie so just a couple packs of opening day make it easy on me this is yeah so I'll open this up on Thursday and then on Friday we're gonna do we're gonna do something called we're gonna do a retail versus I'm gonna call this I'm going to call this for Friday, uh, Future Stars Friday. We're going to be opening up some Bowman. I was able to find a Bowman Blaster at my Target. Still trying to find the Bowman Mega Box. And then I got two Hobby Packs of Bowman too. So that'll be nice to open up too because um, this is basically a retail versus hobby. This costed about $25. A little surprising that they um, 
raised the price on this from 20 to 25 and these cost me about 13 14 dollars so it's about the same value so that'll be fun and interesting this is heavy yeah it's just probably nice for the heavy hitters uh that's so that's pretty much it so again uh review um wax pack wednesday is tomorrow with um eight packs of wax tops wax i'll probably try to ask my dad if i can do that with him and then we got tops opening day for thursday and bowman for friday actually you know what i'm gonna hold off on the bowman until i try to get the bowman mega box because i'd want to do a three-way battle retail versus hobby versus mega so thank you for watching everyone and have a great day.